even saying like if you're a dietitian, you know, and you're helping people construct their diets, then I guess the onus is on you to do a little bit of your homework and find out the kind of foods that they eat. Because sometimes when I'll see vegan meal plans, you know, for me, I'm like, okay, this is great because I've been vegan for years. But for a lot of people in ethnic communities, like say, you know, you're in a certain, you're Mexican American, Black American, if the foods you see in the meal plan don't resonate with what you grew up eating, you're going to be more likely to turn a blind eye at it. But if you're talking to someone um, in that community, you're talking to a Mexican American, and you're like, oh, hey, no, I know this great menudo recipe that's plant based where you can use dry fungus mushrooms instead of, you know, the, the stomach, I think they'll be more likely to listen to you because then you've shown that you care about. Um, you care about like their needs and you catered something to them. And also, um, yesterday I interviewed Dr. Neil Bernard, the president of the PCRM, and I asked him that same question. I'm like, as a physician, how do you tell people about a plant-based diet when the average person is resistant? And he said also just start small. So instead of, hey, you should eat plant-based, like, hey, try this for seven days you know and or try this for three weeks and by the end of that period they should start feeling some of the benefits of a plant-based diet and then have more incentive to want to continue with it so Thank i hope you. that yeah kind of answers your question yeah. and yeah and check out check out the film because then you link it to you know things that they care about like right now honestly like the racial black lives matter all of that is hot in the black community that's what people care about so when i did my film what did i do i linked plant-based eating, animal rights, to what they care about. Like, hey, look at this environmental racism. You think it's an accident that all of these fast food places are centered in marginalized communities with like, you know, people who don't have as much money, minorities, like, do you really want to be a part of the, strate the strategy to eradicate your race, to make them sick, yeah. you know? Yeah, and I, um, I think, I'm hoping, when I watch a movie, that it's going to be a great resource that I can share with, with these, you know, these communities because I love the message and the idea that you know we want to in uh, sort of open people up to the concept that that soul food can be you know came from slave food, and but I don't think it sounds good coming from me. So um, hopefully, you know, if, if that's in your film, then it addresses that, yeah, because yeah, you can you can have a healthy form of soul food. So that would be good. Thank you.